Okay, so we're back. I got the handle folded and I realized that I had a little bit of kind of rough edges. So you can either tuck those under or cut them off. I'm also going to kind of flatten down the handle with something because I'll tell you guys, these paper bags are not user friendly when you fold them. So <laughs> it's nice to be able to kind of crease them with a hard crease. If you rip it, if you tear it a little, it just makes it look even, I think, even better because it's kind of a rough looking rustic Easter basket. So I'm just going to trim the, the excess on mine. You know, and while, while I was getting the um, holes into the basket for the handle here, by the way, it's not easy unless you have a paper punch or a really sharp knife. Scissors don't make very good holes in these. So, you can take the handle and you can either attach it up under like this, so it kind of comes around, which is probably what I'm going to do, which means more difficult holes to cut, honestly, but it's okay. I mean, it, to me, it's totally worth it and it's really cute. Or you can just kind of do it straight underneath. Oh, thanks. My handy husband has a hole maker for me. <laughs> so you kind of roughly try and line them up. Oh boy, that does help. With the holes you made. And then... I like to use raffia, but I don't have any raffia right now. It's kind of the crepe papery sort of natural looking stuff that you can get at Joann's. But right now I have some cotton yarn that's very colorful. And I'm going to do that. So you can kind of eyeball it with the holes. And this is kind of one of the tougher parts. You gotta get that yarn through those holes. And again, you can glue glue this underneath so it stays a little bit better if you like. Or just again trim it, trim that end piece down a little bit. Let's do that real quick. So it just tucks under and stays under a little bit better. Once you got the the bow tied. Which maybe it won't. Maybe it'll show me some attitude. <laughs> Which a lot of my craft projects do. But that's half the fun in crafting, right? You never, you think you know what you're going to get, but you don't always get what you think you're going to get. <laughs> okay. So I got that other one through. Come on. Again, get that end under there, get it kind of squared away, pull your string, raffia, or whatever you're using for your handle bow attachment, nice and tight. You can double this up to, again, just have fun with it. The nice thing about these is you're making a homemade Easter basket. I mean, that's just a fun craft in my mind. So, I'm going to make that nice and long for me, and then I'm going to do another one. Maybe a couple more just to shorten that bow up. And make a really kind of cute little knot there. There we go. It's kind of a floppy one, but again, you get the gist. This is what I have at home at my handy use. Again, raffia is really cute. Or if you want to do like little yarn pom-poms, that'd be really fun. Stuff like that. Just play around with it. So I'm just going to for now tuck that other side up. I'll work on that later. Well, we'll deal with it in a second. But so another fun thing to do with these is to go outside like the morning before you use your Easter basket. And it gets, before it gets filled by the Easter bunny or the night before. And you can go out and you can just pick some flowers, some spring flowers that are blooming right now. And you can just tuck it right into that bow. 
And then again, just fill it up with whatever you have right now. It's it's kind of one of those moments in life where we're using what we got and we're making do with what we got. And the more important thing is you're having fun with your family. You're doing something special. And if you celebrate Easter, you know, this is just something neat to do with the kiddos or with your partner. So have fun with it. There's your little Easter basket. Very simple, very easy, very hopefully fun and Eastery. Thanks, guys.